Hello everyone, I'm Jed Wallace, a Senior Technical Marketing Manager with Coecity. Let's talk about a real problem, finding unsecured PII before an incident happens and understanding what might have been exposed after one. Whether it's about prevention or response, we need visibility. I'll show you how Sire's integration with Coecity Data Cloud provides real-time visibility into where sensitive data resides and how we're staying compliant without digging through backups or crossing our fingers that we didn't miss something. As part of the compliance team, this is what helps us sleep at night. But why is this important? Sire and Coecity work together to address a primary gap in cyber resilience by identifying and protecting sensitive data in both primary and secondary data sets. Organizations can reduce the serious risk of breaches and compliance failures. When it comes to your backups, many organizations don't account for sensitive data like PII, PHI, and PCI that lurk on monitor. Coecity's integration with Sire's DSPM can help address this blind spot. Key priorities include extending visibility to secondary data, scanning backups for sensitive info, addressing compliance risks proactively, leveraging access and ROT insights, and enforcing context-based governance. With Coecity, enterprises gain unified security across all their data, primary and backup. Once integrated with Coecity, Sire enriches metadata by providing deep visibility into sensitive data across all environments connected to it. Sire identifies what it is, where it resides, and how it's used. The enriched metadata flows into Cohesity, enabling prioritization of data protection based on actual risk rather than assumptions, thereby enhancing security and protect capabilities. As a member of the compliance team in charge of our company's data governance, such as Azure Blob, M365, VMware, and AWS S3, we need to make sure our data is being stored in the right place, and if any PII exists where it shouldn't. What we want to do is focus on our AWS S3 data to make sure data is properly classified and tagged, and if any violations exist, by browsing sources. For all the supported adapters, we can see there's extra columns. The restrictive tag signifies a level of sensitivity, and business and IP signifies the category of sensitive data. So this is the different kinds of data present in the S3 bucket. Now by clicking on the violation next to the S3 bucket, it'll give us more details. If we click on data insights, it gives us more granular and valuable view into the data within the S3 bucket. It shows exactly what data classes were discovered around all the files and context around those data classes. This context is powered by LLM-based classification providing high precision and significantly reducing false positives for your classification. The other major things that this integration offers is notifications of PII and compliance-based security violations. For example, data may be considered stale, active, or contain PII based on compliance policies such as SOX, GDPR, and others. These violations are identified using rules configured in Cohesi. As a member of the compliance team, we created a GDPR policy to flag any instance where data belonging to a European citizen is stored in a U.S. backup location, helping surface potential compliance risks. Not only is Sayar telling us the issue, but it's also giving us information on remediation. Since we created a GDPR policy to warn when a European citizen's data is being stored in the wrong backup location, we want to be informed of this. So under new protection, we could see that there's a cross-region violation that's alerting us to that data being stored in the wrong location. This would also be true if you tried to perform a recovery of the same object, you would be warned of the same cross-region violation. What if we need to see a centralized view of our assets and if they might have violations, PII data, and more? Here in the Security Center, we can click on Inventory. And what this does, it correlates all the different signals from Sierra data security posture management capabilities, Coecity's AI-powered data security features. So even here, I could see the DSPM signals. To get a better understanding, let's search for a S3 bucket with some violations. Here you can see a column with the DSPM signals has been added alongside existing signals from Coecity's classification and threat detection engines providing a more centralized view of assets, violations, 
PII data, and more. What if we need more detailed information of the violations and tags? We can simply click on the S3 bucket and we go to Data Insights and we can get this information. What about the rule we set up to warn if data belonging to a European citizen was being stored in a US backup location, indicating a potential compliance issue? By clicking on Settings in the Security Center and then go into Rules, we could see the Enable GDPR Violation Detection. If necessary to stop the warning, we can disable it and all the cross-region violation warnings from earlier would disappear. Of course, we're auditing and logging changes to the rule for compliance purposes. But also, I'd like to point out, if we go ahead and click Edit next to the cross-region violations, we have several more rules we can enable. If you're facing similar challenges securing sensitive data, now's the time to act. Connect with us at Coecity. Together, we can help you protect what matters most, smarter, faster, and with far less complexity.